Welcome again to uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, today, I'm, today I'm going to talk some more about the um, the GoPro uh, Hero 5. Um, most people who, who bought this uh, this camera are probably buying it for the for the for the action video facilities. But one of the things that attracted me to it as a as a still photographer, um, as well as a videographer, um, was the fact that it's the first GoPro to do. Um, Raw images. Uh, now, uh, raw images are a fairly standard for DSL, DSLRs and, and mirrorless camera users, um, but this is the first time that we've been able to get a, a raw image from a GoPro camera. Uh, so today I'm going to um, look at some raw images and process them through um, Photoshop um, using the um, the Adobe Camera Raw uh, program uh, to see what the results are like. Well, I've loaded the um, files into uh, Adobe Bridge. Now I'm just going to open the first one up in uh, Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, start off by uh, giving it a little bit of contrast. Uh, reduce the highlights. Bring up the shadows. Can I give it a little bit of uh, some clarity as well? Just to sharpen it up a bit. And then a bit of vibrance as well. As you can see, that's brought out quite a, quite a lot of the detail in the photograph. And it has recorded a lot of detail actually. Let's bring the exposure up a tiny bit as well. So let's open it up in Photoshop now. You can see the uh, thing at a larger size. Yeah. Not too bad. Sharp into the corners at the bottom where there's plenty of detail in the in the foliage there. So we zoom in. There's a bit of noise in the background, but again, good detail in the in the foliage. Nice and sharp. As there's a couple of birds flying across, which are blurred a bit. So I'm just going to get rid of those with the uh, content aware brush. Let's clean those up. Let's get rid of them. And I've dragged across into the corner again, dragged down. I'll say, not bad. It's a bit noisy in the shadows, but it's a good bit of detail there, and it's nice and sharp. So. And I've reduced the size again. Now, for a tiny camera at 12 megapixels, that's a pretty good picture, I think. So. Right, let's bring up the next one. Again, this is landscape on the Lincolnshire Cambridgeshire border. Now again, it's quite dark straight from the camera, but we'll increase the contrast a bit. Drop the highlights, raise the shadow detail. Tweak the exposure very slightly, a bit of a clarity in. Press a bit of vibrance again as well. So, and again, a good bit of detail in the corners. It's a little bit of um, fish eye effect there. I wasn't, I think, wasn't quite uh, on the horizon. When you zoom in, there's a bit of detail. Uh, so a bit of noise in the shadows there, but yeah, not too bad. So. Let's open that up in, uh, in Photoshop to have a closer look at it. Nice and sharp. A lot of detail in the clouds, a lot of details in the foliage. I think it's nice and sharp. Bit of noise, but I could put that through a denoising filter. Yeah, spin that out again. Again, capture the lovely detail in the clouds. Well, I'll bring up the last one here. I've already put some uh, camera roll into this and again I've done a similar thing with the contrast, highlights, shadows, clarity and a bit of vibrance. Now this one here was actually shot directly into the sun and there's no real flare in the lens which I think is quite impressive. Again just fiddle with the, uh, the settings just to tweak it a bit. 
and then open it up in uh, in Photoshop again. All right. If we zoom in here, you can see there's a good lot of detail in that foliage. Again, in the corners, not bad at all. Though. Now there's a bit of chromatic aberration again, where you've got we've got um, branches against the light here. So and again, that's something that can be corrected in post. I and mean, it's not unusual in that in photographing into the light with a, you know, to get chromatic aberration. That's the uh, the purple fringing around the edges of the uh, of the branches. There. So again, we'll zoom out. I'll just finish off uh, by dropping in the three uh, images uh, again um, and then also comparing them with the, the JPEGs uh, straight from the camera as well. Anyway, I hope you'll uh, tune into my next uh, video from uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Thank you.